Hey guys, the girls looking nappy in the front and the back, like says. What's going on? Hey guys, it's that girl Marissa, and I'm back with another video for you guys. Today's video, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, I will be doing the rubber band hairstyle tutorial for you guys. Do not mind my hair, I know it's flaky, it's messy, it's just everything. I want to keep this intro as short as possible because I want to literally laugh at myself from hair to toe right now. But you know, it's okay, we're going to keep it together, you know? Okay. But before, I get to the, before we get into the video, please subscribe, turn on post notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up like I said this video was highly requested on my TikTok so I really wanted to do this video for you guys so yeah and the first person to comment in this video guys because I shout out my next video so keep the comments rolling throw the comments up you know what I mean then because that comment is not disabled anymore hooray okay but anyway guys let's go ahead and get into the video okay guys so these are the materials that we will need so first we're going to need some eco gel to fix up the front the back and our edges or you can use edge control which i'll show you guys later on but i have some clear eco you can use any kind of eco i just like the clear one then i have a wig brush and i call it my detangling brush because it gets all my knots and stuff on my hair so i use that to detangle my hair so that it can be really really smooth when i'm trying to put it up in my two the next essential that we're going to need is a rat tail comb you guys um it's called rat tail comb it's just a comb with like a pointy end and a comb at the top you guys so yep our next thing that we're going to be needing you guys is a is a edge brush or a small comb me personally i don't have an edge brush so i'm going to be using the small comb i'm going to be using the finest end of the comb to do my edges with because it gets everything good like an edge brush the next material that we're going to need is a brush you guys because we want to get up all them lumps from in the back you guys so i like to use a brush because the combs like do lines in it the next material we're going to need, you guys, is some edge control. I have the sheer and coconut edge control, but I'm not going to be using this in the video because I like my eco gel much better to do my edges. So, yep. But if you guys want to use edge control for your edges, go ahead. And then the last thing, guys, we have some rubber bands. I know some people put oil in their rubber bands, but I don't. And some people use scrunchies, but I like to use rubber bands. Hey guys, so let's get started in this video. I already did a little clip of the things that you need. And if you guys hear me talking back and forth, I'm talking to my niece. We're having a little discussion because I'm supposed to be playing with her right now. But I wanted to film the video for you guys, but let's get started. So I'm going to get my wig brush, my detangling brush, whatever you want to call this. And I'm going to start detangling on my hair because as you guys see from the intro, and right now I have flakes in my hair because... I did my hair like this, I think it was yesterday, you guys, and I took the rubber bands and stuff out. So, yeah, and it's pretty flaky, but I'm going to be washing my hair probably today or tomorrow, because tomorrow is Saturday, so I'm going to probably leave this in for today. Film a couple of videos and then wash my hair tomorrow because, of course, I'm not going to school with flakes all up in my hair. But yeah, I'm going to just hang out my hair. You see, guys, I'm gonna finish, okay? Okay, guys, so right now I am detangling out my hair. Okay, guys, so as you guys can see, I just finished detangling out my hair. A little bit in the back, a little bit in the front in the back and a little bit in the middle now I'm going to comb out my hair in the front just a little bit see how much flakes I can get out but the time you finish this hair so you guys my hair will not be looking flaky even though we might still see flakes in it while I'm doing the uh, hairstyle but I'm pretty I'm definitely I'm pretty sure that you won't be able to see some flakes like that I don't think flakes are in the back of my hair if they air that really don't matter right now but yeah Okay guys, so I comb out my hair just a little bit and now I'm going to go ahead and try hard, my hardest just get a little straight part right here in the beginning. Our hair is going into you guys, so I don't really worry about the back right then. I just 
try to put it in a half in the front so I can section off my two sides. And once I'm finished with doing my rubber bands in the front, you guys, then I go ahead and continue patting it all the way down. But once I got a straight pot in the front, I am good to go. But I'm going to keep trying to get the straightest part of the best part that I want. So, yeah. Okay guys, so I got a little part in the front here, it's right there, don't worry about like that right here, but you know me only to be black, babe. And now I'm going to come up right up in here. Okay. And now I'm going to do my part, it's called Heart of Lee. So I'm going to put my part across because you're going to be doing the romance there. So I'm going to do it how thick and however I want it. But when I normally put it up in a rubber band, it don't look as thick as it probably looks. So I try to put in a good enough amount of hair. And I try to get my pad right in the middle here pretty, pretty straight. Even though you can't really see, you're not going to really see it. But I just try to get it neat and straight as possible. And I'm going to do the, the same yeah. part here on the next side right over here. Okay guys, so I tried and parted as good as possible. And I had to perfect, like, just try this part just a little bit more to get it more fixed. And then I got this one like this. I tried to get it as even as possible. And this is what I got. But anyway, guys, now we're going to start on the next step. So step one, which is clearing up the hair is done. And step two, which is parting the rubber band piece. Just like half a rubber band piece is half a done because we haven't finished part it up all. So now guys, you can do your like but without like rubber band, like any different shape. You can do it like a shape like like this, like a slanted shape, like all them slanted. Or you can just do them regular box or like triangles, or like whatever kind of shape you want to do, guys, you can do it. But I just go with regular box shape because I love it a lot. So yeah. And this is like the simplest way to do up the rubber band hairstyle this way, so I like to just do this. Okay, so right here, you guys, as you guys can see, this is my pad right there, and now I'm going to do it. I like to have like four on each side, so yep, so I'm gonna do it big enough. So this is like one here, just do like that. So I like to do my first one pretty big, you know, but okay, so we have hair. Guys, this is like what our pot is looking like, but I want to just straighten that up a little bit more, so that is what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, so this is what I'm going to be doing for basically like all of them. So, yeah. I'm going to straighten this up a little bit more and see you guys in a sec. Okay, guys. Okay. So now I have it of like a boxy shaper more. And I'm going to get my rubber band. So these are my rubber bands here. Some people let me put like grease on their rubber bands or like all on all oil on their rubber band, like hair oil. But I don't, I just use the regular rubber bands. I got the rubber bands like right here. I don't need to stretch these out because then I'll have to keep doubling up on one pad. So once I got my pack good enough for how I like it, I like to get my rubber band and my rubber band prepared. But to make sure this doesn't look a little tacky and stuff like that, I get my eco gel or you guys, sorry, eco gel. Or you guys can use your edge control, but I like to use the eco gel like I said. So I'm gonna get my eco gel, get my hand, just like get my finger just a little bit. And I put some eco gel like on the back right there. Side right there. And in the front, I'm gonna have to get just a little bit more just to put in the front, you guys. And like my first two, I normally don't do like edges on them. I just do like edges on my second, third, and fourth. So yeah, and now I just like to do that. And then I like to get my hair. And I just like to get where I put the gel and I just like do that and like wind them around because I feel like the gel gets in it more and it's more of a togetherness and you know, not a little black slack, I mean. So, yeah, I'll put my gel right there to make sure everything looks tidy and neat. And I'm going to hold this, get my rubber out. I'm like, you're doing your hair in one. Hold my hair, put the rubber just like this. Just going to keep wrapping it around and wrapping it around. I like to do it a little bit. Hold on, if you look, 
Hold on one second. I like to do it just a little bit tight so that they don't look really saggy. But sometimes I don't like to do it really, 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 really tight because it starts to hurt and stuff. So yeah. And then when I got it like this, you guys, I like to put it like do this in half and like pull it just so it can be like more secure and more hold down. And you see how neat and everything that looks, guys. So yeah, cute. Let's go on to the second one. So the second one, guys, you're going to repeat the same thing and you're going to pot. Just a little bit more here. Okay. You're going to pot your head. Pot, I mean, pot your little rubber band. Okay, pot it. Okay, hold on. Try to get it really nice and everything. So yeah. So I'm going to pot it, put this here in the back if you want to. Coolness, I'll just make sure I can everything if you want to. Okay, get your eco or your edge control. Put your finger back, front, a little bit on the side. And then like I said, wind it around. And then if you feel like you need a little more eco gel, just, just tap your hand and then put it on the side in the back mostly. Because remember, we're gonna be doing your edges so your front doesn't really need that much eco. You wanna get your rubber band, you don't have to really stretch them out. That's why I use rubber bands for this hairstyle because scrunchies are not really going to work. You're gonna do like your pretty look of your hair on one. And yeah, I was going to go. I literally do that. I don't know. I don't really count how much times I do the rubber band around my hair. I do it around a couple times, I guess. And then I just pull it just to make sure it's secure and a little bit tight. And yeah, look at how cute and neat they look. They don't look foggy and everything. But yeah. So I'm going to do the rest on this side, you guys. And I'll see you guys when I'm on this side. So yeah. Okay, guys. So I just finished this side of my hair. It's very simple. And now we're going to move on to this side. It's going to be the same way, you guys. And I'm going to leave the last one out so I can show you guys how we do it over again. Don't worry about like my hair, my baby hairs and stuff that you see out or stuff like that because you don't want to put your baby hairs up in that. You want to have edges, right? If you want to just, but most of the time I just leave it plain. But I'm going to do some edges for you guys for this video. But let's get on to this side. So we're on the last and final one. Sorry to do this three, so we're on the last one. So get this, get your eco, get your finger, put it in front, put it in the back, put it, I'm gonna, sorry, put it in the front, put it on the back, put it in the side, just a little bit in the front, you know what I mean? Get your hand, like I said, I like to twist it, just a little bit, and check it all that eco, you know? Get your rubber band, right here, oh my gosh, right here. Put on your finger, and you're gonna do this around, almost like you're putting your hair in one. Just like this. Like I said, I do it around a few times, I don't really count. And then it's just a little bit, you want to do this, it's probably just like a little and then I just like to hold it, pull it, and you're done. So I got all my plaques, you guys, and of course, we're not gonna be that kind of like, oh my gosh, girl, look at a new style. No, ma'am, it's not gonna be like that. It's going to be up in our tooth. So let me get parted with doing, put my hair in half. So yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So I just finished part of my hair into half. Um, I don't normally put my hair in the half. I let my mommy do it, but for this video, I just decided to do it because it's gonna be quicker and easier. Okay, so I comb out my brush on my hair just a little bit, you guys. I'm gonna get the comb, brush up the back a little bit, and everything. So I'm deciding to, instead of doing like my thing I'm down, which is the up. So yeah. So I'm just put my hair on this side until I get to it, but for right now, yeah. So now I'm gonna get my comb, guys, and I'm going to start combing it out. Yes, yeah, shrink, I'm coming down. So I'm just gonna comb, be combing the back up and comb the front 
up to no when i come in now now i, I have to finish the video so yeah so now you guys okay so i'm putting my trap in my hair too so okay i want to do my little puff okay guys so now i got a little of my eco gel i don't really use too much eco gel to do my ones with, let me see if I get a little darker. No, okay, yeah. So I don't use so much eco gel to do my up and ones and stuff. I can get up on them little baby hairs in the back that curls up, and we call it peas. So I like to get on them, and I like to brush it off. Hey guys, so as you guys can see, I'm doing my first half of my hair. I'm putting it up, and then when you guys see me again, I'll be having my two parts up. So basically, I'm just gelling my two halves up basically hey guys so we're almost done the only thing that we have to do you guys is edges so i did my little puppy puffs a a puppy puffs a a puppy puffs and look at how much better this hair is looking from when we started that intro i just love my hair so much it looks so good in the back in the front and everything i hope it's part correct but if it isn't i'm not worried it's supposed to prefer it's sleek you know <laughs> But don't lie, this does look good though. <laughs> Period. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get into the end to my edges. So I have my comb hair, you guys. And like I said, I don't have an edge brush, so I use the comb and I use the finest part because it gets my edges really, really good. Then I use this part right here, you guys. Go with my eco gel and I just do this like that. Put some eco gel on it. And like, like I said, I don't really do my edges. On my first rubber band, yeah, on my first rubber band right there, I don't really do that. Yourself. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I I just cut my man, my girl face. Well, the character we gonna make him in them. Yeah. Oh. You can make. my hairstyle I'm not gonna lie I love it so much I'm pretty sure that like, this is the first time I did like my edges with the swoop in it but I did this hairstyle so y'all love it so so much it is very cute and everything and all you guys gotta do is follow these steps you guys and we got this hairstyle and like I said if you guys want me to do a edge tutorial and if you said and like I said guys if you guys want me to do an edge tutorial just let me know I love this hairstyle so so much you guys I just take some pictures and everything and I'm going to edit them and stuff like that I'm going to edit this video for you guys so you guys video can get out today and around what time let's see what time is it you know what time it is uh, no that I have the time on it right now it's still on day. yeah this is the end of this video. I hope you guys like and enjoy. I really do like this hairstyle. And cannot wait to do other hairstyles for you guys. So just let me know what else you guys want me to do. And I will try and do it. But this is the end of this hairstyle. It is so beautiful. So me. So everything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace. And always remember to love yourself.